this 45th Gordon Bowl is underway. Good kick. And it will not be returned by Nebraska. Frank Lockett sets it down. And out of the field comes the Nebraska Cornhusker offense with quarterback Tom Sorley. And there they are. Andre Franklin, the blocking back at fullback, the eye back or tail back in that eye formation. Rick Burns, he'll be uh, teaming up with I am hip at that position. And the wing back, Kenny Brown. Junior Miller, the tight end. And they like to go to that big tight end target. He's 6'4". And Frank Lockett, the split end. Brown wing right, Lockett split left. Burns up the middle. For five. And Merlin may be just where they want to attack. They're going to go right up the middle if they can. That's what they did in their earlier game. And let's look at the offensive line that's going to be trying to blow those holes. All-American, Kelvin Clark, Barney Cotton. Kelly Stallfield, Steve Lindquist, a very fine senior guard, and Tom Ort. And they're big. The lightest man in that interior five is 248 pounds. Miller shifting right, and Brown comes in tight on the left side. Burns again. The long-legged eye back out to the 29, where it'll be third down and one. Burns, 6'2 two and 2'10, two running against this Oklahoma defense. And quick they are. That's the word to describe uh, people like Reggie Mathis, John Goodman, Reggie Kinlaw on the nose, Phil Tabor, senior right tackle, and Bruce Tate, small right end. George Cumbie and Daryl Hunter, the linebackers. Cumbie can run a 4-4-4-5. Four, 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 I think he's the fastest linebacker I've ever heard of. It's like a track team from Norman, Oklahoma. Third and one. And Burns goes the other way. First down. Needed one and picks up 11 and the first first down of the game before Kinlaw and Babb can collaborate on the tackle. From the end zone, let's look at that play. Big first down play. Dorley giving it off to Burns, his eye back. Burns cuts it back underneath, gets away from Hunt. Cumby right there, runs out of the tackle. Some powerful running. What a great year he's had. Great blocks by 54 Cotton and 39 Franklin for Nebraska. Appeared to want to pitch it wide, and Burns is only a step away. Reggie Kinlaw was there, too. Defensive back for Oklahoma, Basil Banks, Jay Germison at the corner, Daryl Ray, and Mike Babb. That play, by the way, is one of their favorites. They pitch it outside, make it look like they're going to go outside, and then cut back against the green. But one of the things that happens to you, if you get that quick backside pursuit, they can shut you down, Vic. First penalty of the game. Nebraska for holding. That's one of the things we're going to have to get used to is those 15-yard holding penalties. In the pro game, of course, that's a 10-yard penalty, but it really shuts you down in the college game because you've got a first and 25, and that's a hard piece of real estate to gain back. So Tom Sorley, number 12, the quarterback from Big Spring, Texas, may be forced to go to the air. to go to Junior Miller. What an athlete he is. Watch him now. Sorley running outside. Miller knows he's going to get a pass here. Watch the concentration. Ducks back underneath. Daryl Ray makes a superb catch. Marked down where his knee touched the ground. Junior Miller made up the 25 and then some. 28-yard pass play. Nebraska and Oklahoma territory. At least on this first possession, Nebraska's offensive line is beating Oklahoma to the punch. Now, this game was described as speed against strength. And right now, strength seems to be winning down in the pit. Rick Burns, 933 yards, finished just three yards behind I.M. Hip, the other eye back. Burns, the career leader in rushing in Nebraska history. Short of the first down, tackled at the 38-yard line. Check the penalty. 
Referee Ken Faulkner sent offside Nebraska. An all-Southwest Conference crew, Ken Faulkner, Marvin Durenberger, W.C. Coleman, Mike Wetzel, J.D. Rowland, and Tim Hatch. 147 years of officiating experience, the Zebras tonight. Well, we have one from the Southeast Conference, our timekeeper is from the Southeast Conference, and he's the only one. They try and bring neutral officials in. They've done this. This is the fourth year. I think a wise decision on the part of the commissioners of the various conferences. On that last play, uh, uh, Dick, you get the call here of offside. Oklahoma's blitzing, and they brought a defensive back up, and I think uh, whoever was responsible for him was getting a little itchy in there and tried to get a jump, got out a little too quick. Mike Babb has moved to a corner for Oklahoma. Sherwood Taylor injured earlier in the year. Now playing in from 60. On second half, Sorley to throw. Junior Miller and flags all over the field. Incomplete. Penalty in the defensive secondary and also in the backfield of Nebraska. Well, it looks like one of them might be for roughing the passer. Uh, uh, the one on these side, yeah. I'm going to go back and start it over again. It's going to be second nine again. The uh, Oklahoma team is uh, adding an extra linebacker in there, going with three defensive backs, as they did on that last play. Uh, trying to get almost a, a goal line type situation in there to stop the running attack of the Cornhuskers. Nebraska had an ineligible man downfield. Now they've got their four defensive backs and it's back to a normal set. And it's still second and eight. Burn! Greeted and still fights forward for a couple of yards. Number 72, John Goodman from Garland, Texas. The left tackle made the first contact, could not bring down Burns. Burns running very hard, uh, took uh, Goodman's helmet right in his chest and kept on going. He is one tough kid. Third down, six. Congratulations to Bear Bryant's Alabama team, knocking off the top Raiders and the last unbeaten college team, Penn State, 14 to seven. How about Notre Dame rallying from 34-12 to win 35-34 in the Cotton Bowl, and as you saw on NBC, USC 17, Michigan 10. Oklahoma. Charlie will go through the play. Knocked down by number 31, Sherwood Taylor. Now we'll check the penalty flag. And there's an injured Husker on the field. Reggie Mathis, 58, was the man pressuring sorely. And getting up slowly is Rick Burns. Offside Mathis. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Tied with Phil Tabor and Daryl Hunt for most tackles behind the line of scrimmage this year. That's going to be very close to a first down. In fact, they're going over to measure it off, I believe, on the uh, on the sticks to see if it would indeed be a first down. But that's, uh, that's a big penalty. Third and five in a situation where the pass was incomplete. They still managed to uh, get, get now in a situation where it's either going to be a first down or very close to it. And Merlin, for the first time, we see number 32, I am hip in the backfield, Nebraska. A storied athlete from Chapin, South Carolina. A walk-on, one of the many walk-on athletes on this Nebraska team. And won the hearts of many underdogs around the country with his play last year at Nebraska. And they've also put in number 95, Johnny Lewis, Oklahoma has. They're going into what they call their mad dog defense, short yardage defense. They'll have four down linemen, two middle guards in there at the same time. Third and less than one. Tremendous offensive charge to the middle of that Nebraska line. Stallfield 57, Cotton 54, and Lindquist 68, and they just pushed Nebraska back. Peyton and Hunt made the stop. It's about as physical a line as you'll find at the college level. Look at him. Look at Lindquist, 68. He's just pushing him back. Sorley just kind of got in there and went along with the surge and found himself a first down. That's almost like a quarterback surf. You just get in there and just fly behind it. that line. four-yard gain. Nebraska's taken the opening kickoff and has marched to the Oklahoma 30. They've used already four minutes and 15 seconds and have a second and six. 
Pete Lindquist, one of the fine guards on this uh, Nebraska team, was right on Reggie Kinlaw, number 62. Watch it right there as he slips inside, gets position on him, and then will not let him get out to use his great lateral speed. As you may notice, number 68 Lindquist, a congenital deformity. Right hand. Hip cartwheeling forward for a yard or two. Barry Dittman, number 38, made the hit. Barry Dittman, by the way, is a fourth linebacker. Oklahoma, which uh, doesn't usually try too many tricks defensively, putting some different lineups against this Nebraska team to try and shut them down. Four defensive linemen. Now they've got four linebackers. Very different. An extra linebacker inserted into that lineup made the play. Tom Sorley wants a timeout. We'll visit with head coach Tom Osborne facing third and five at the 29 of Oklahoma. The Orange Bowl resumes in Miami, Florida, right after we pause for this word. The Orange Bowl in Miami, it all began this classic in 1933 when they called it the Palm Festival. It was 33 and 34, and then the first Orange Bowl in 1935. Nebraska, Oklahoma in 79, and it's third and five for the Huskers at the OU 29. Surprise, they give it to Franklin, the fullback, who doesn't carry that much, and he's shy of the first down by a yard and a half. Phil Tabor, 74. He and his twin brother, Paul, members of this great Oklahoma team, made the tackle. Number 22, Kenny Brown, comes in with a play from the sideline. Tom Osborne calls all the plays himself, shuffles him in with his split end. Now they're going to go for it, fourth and a long yard. Watch the little end around as he fakes it back into the line, then options it out, slips it out to number 22, Kenny Brown, and Kenny easily goes by the Oklahoma defenders for the first down. Mark Call, good play. So they had Oklahoma looking for the inside power, they faked the power and gave it to Brown for the first down. This is the 12th play of this Nebraska opening drive. Sorley took away his pitch man. He had to eat it for a loss. Back at the 22 is Darrell Hunt, number 85 from Odessa, Texas. The top Oklahoma tackler on the year made the stop. Let's watch him in action. Darrell Hunt, certainly one of the players on this team the pros are very excited about. Watch the lateral move here. Reads the play, slides with Sorley, and just comes up and wrestles him to the ground, forcing him to lose a yard on the play. He's a fine athlete. Rick Burns has come back into the Nebraska backfield for I am hip on second and 11. Charlie off play action. Intercepted by Barry Dittman, 38, a senior from Houston, Texas. Goodman and Tabor applying the pressure on Sorley. Again, they had the four linebackers in there. Barry Dittman going in. They get great pressure here on Sorley. And Sorley almost made a critical mistake. Almost threw it away. Slips it out as he was going down. Right there. Dittman getting a hand on it. Unable to control it. Third and 11. Wide right is Tim Smith. Miller the tight end on the left side. Sorley rolling. And going long. Great play by Tim Smith as he beat Gary Lowell down the sideline. Give you a chance to see it. Sorley throwing it deep, and Smith has to go up, turn all the way around. at 17, Basil Banks, actually, the uh, defender that was on him right there. But a great catch, able to get one foot down. Billy Todd, who's field goal beat Oklahoma, and Lincoln boots home the extra point. A very impressive opening drive by Nebraska. The underdog Huskers use over seven minutes to score the first touchdown of the game. Tim Smith, his second touchdown catch of the year, opens this Orange Bowl scoring. The top two scoring teams in the nation, and Nebraska on the board first, 7-0. Billy Todd to kick it off. Jimmy Rogers 
34. No, it's up to the short man. And out of bounds for Oklahoma goes number 43, Vicky Ray Anderson. Let's go back to that touchdown. You'll see some great footwork by Smith, who got one foot down. Oklahoma's only been behind twice this year, once to Nebraska, and once as a result of this touchdown pass, Tom Sorley to Tim Smith. Great leaping grab. Get back, actually both feet down in the end zone, even though college rules, they only have to touch one foot in to mark it up for a touchdown. So the Sooners put their wishbone in action from their own 29-yard line. Thomas Lott, the quarterback. Waiting for the penalty call, the offense for Oklahoma. Thomas Lott, he's a quarterback, but everyone feels, and as, as it is in the wishbone, he is a running back. Kenny King has the best average of that starting four. Billy Sims, the Heisman winner, and David Overstreet, the other halfback. With Victor Hicks, a giant tight end, 6'3 and 254, and Bobby Kimball, the split end. Louis Obrey is the left tackle. Paul Tabor, the other brother at left guard. Jody Farthing, we've got a story about him later on. Came back this spring after, after this fall, after quitting last spring and uh, has become a valuable addition in his senior year. Greg Roberts, of course, won the Outland Award and Sam Clappin, Sammy Jack over there on the right-hand side. A legal procedure, both sides, the penalty, so it's first and 10. They break the wishbone. Out to the 33-yard line. Sims, who averaged 7.6 yards a carry on the year, scored 20 touchdowns to lead the nation. Jeff Hansen, 48 from the secondary, made the tackle at second and six. The defense, defense for Nebraska. Excuse me, the defense, Dick, sure has a tough job out there stopping the wishbone. Lawrence Cole, Rod Horn, Kenny Winemaster at the nose, Dan Pensick, George Andrews, probably, probably the best defensive player at the strong end position. In motion comes over street. That's Lott on the option. Close to a first down at the 38-yard line before Jim Pillen and Jeff Hansen can make the stop. It'll be third and one for Oklahoma. Well, those outlet award winners not only have to run the ball, Dick, they have to block sometimes. And that was uh, Sims blocking on number 96. George Andrews made that play a, a winner, got him down to third and very short yardage. 96 Andrews, an All-American himself, and here's Sims throwing the block on him. Right on his heels, right there. One grade after another. Try to be close for the first down as Sims diving right over the middle of the line. Take on the stop. Still one way, his helmet went the other. We'll have an official measurement. Linebackers for Nebraska are Dunning and Coons. Coons, a great all-around athlete. Defensive back Tim Fisher, whose uh, cousin Pat, uh, whose uncle Pat, actually uh, played for the Washington Redskins for many years. Andy Means got a tough job today. He's going to be one-on-one -on, -one on the split end for Nebraska, for Oklahoma all day. Russell Gary and Jim Pillen. Pillen, by the way, is a monster man. You'll see him all over the field. Right now, you're going to see a punter on the field as Oklahoma failed to make the necessary yardage. And a light rain begins to fall in the Orange Bowl. And, of course, Nebraska could have uh, prayed for that, hoping to slow down some of that Oklahoma speed. So the black shirt defense holds Oklahoma. And the kick by Ray. Taken. 28 is Dave Legal. And the law of Oklahoma brings him down. Now Nebraska scores on Oklahoma, a team that gave up only 14 points in the first quarter all year. Huskers 7, Sooners nothing. The Oilers and the Steelers, the rubber game, each team winning at the other's home field. And that one to decide who goes to the Super Bowl. Kurt Gowdy, John Brody, Merlin Olsen will be there to call it for you. Better order up some extra ambulances for that one, if it's anything like the last shootout down in Houston. <laughs> Nebraska leading 7-0, ball at the 25 of the Huskers. 6.49 left first quarter. Complete 22, Kenny Brown, a junior from Cincinnati, Ohio, caught 23 passes during the regular season, and it's a short gain of about five. Coming right at you at ground level from Tom Sorley to number 22, Brown, and watch it right here. They backed off of him, gave him a little room, and Kenny just turned back and took a quick pass, picked up a nice gain on it. It's going to be second and about four and a half, almost five yards to go. I am hip and Rick Burns are in the game at the same time. So two I backs stacked up behind Sorley. That's Brown in motion. Give it to hip. And they corral him at the 
33 yard line John Goodman 72 the first man to make contact in the middle of that line Kelly Salfeld at center is working on Reggie Kinlaw all-american nose tackle nose guard for the Oklahoma team and just did a beautiful job of blowing him off the ball keeping him out of that play however he could keep the rest of them out of there here's a chance for you to see it at home watch Salfeld get good position on Kinlaw and then work into him that's a great blocking technique right there. It's a fine play by the veteran center for the Sooners, or for the Cornhuskers. Keep him on the right side of it. Charlie doesn't like the call as he looks at that Oklahoma defense, and Nebraska spends its second timeout already in this first quarter. Five minutes and 32 seconds remaining in this first quarter. Oh, a spectacular halftime show as always in the Orange Bowl, so especially... Uh, those of you adults watching, the kids may be in the other room. Tell them to stick around. They're going to really love a halftime spectacular here at the Orange Bowl. And we have some interesting flashbacks, some Orange Bowl scrapbook shots, some of the great stars of the past, and also uh, hopefully some of the longest games in the history of the Orange Bowl. And speaking of highlights, coming up in two weeks, first edition of 1979 Sports World on NBC. You'll see some outstanding gymnastic competition from Wembley, England, and also the Muhammad Ali Invitational Track and Field Championship from Long Beach, California, plus some special crazy world of sports at January 14th, 3 o'clock Eastern Time. Barry Switzer has to be a bit concerned, Merlin Olsen, that his Oklahoma team that has been so tough in the first quarter defensively has already given up a score. Well, as I said earlier, they've only been behind twice during the year. Once in the game, they lost at Lincoln, and here tonight in the first quarter of this one, that does not speak well for the defense. Nebraska with 100 yards already. Third and two. Nebraska fans thought that I am hip had the ball, but it was the fake and the toss to Miller incomplete, and Nebraska's Tim Smith will come on to punt it away. Well, they knew who had the ball down on the field, and Oklahoma was not only on top of on top of Tom Sorley, but they were also on top of Junior Miller. Ball thrown too high. I think Miller Miller could have caught that one and sucked it away. Had it come in a little bit lower, he was open. They can't give that big tight end that much room. Freddie Nixon, number 11, deep to return the kick by Smith. No pressure. And over end. Nixon fair catch at the 30. The Orange Bowl scrapbook. You're going to enjoy some familiar faces going back to their college years. These great athletes who start in the Orange Bowl. When I was young, there were so many songs that waited to be sung. So many wild plays. Some of my friends in there, Dick. In store for me. I'd like to see your high school and so my college graduation pictures. I mean, oh, he looks too sweet there. Well, here's David a couple of years later. Hair starting to grow. Uh, he's getting ready to go to New York. Can you believe that's Ted Stabler? No, no. Where are the whiskers? Where, the, where are they? Kenny Stabler, the snake. Got a great running back. He looks tough. He looks tough even there. And Franco hasn't changed much. Just filled in the beard a little bit. We'll see him in action in that great matchup Pittsburgh Houston. Brett Jones. That could have been his high school picture. Maybe it is. <laughs> Let's say so. Hey, that was fun. That was fun. Great stars all played in this Orange Bowl Classic. Oklahoma trailing 7-0, and again they break up the bone and give it to Sims. Look at him refusing to go down after 18 yards. Billy Sims. You've got a whole backfield full of people who can run four, five, four, six hundred. All you got to do is isolate them, get somebody to miss a tackle, and you're in deep trouble. Sims runs through not one, but about six of the Nebraska Cornhuskers before they finally get him down. He almost got to the 50-yard line. Out of the wishbone, give it to King, the first option, and he plows all the way to the Nebraska 45, a gain of eight. Coons and Cole made the tackle. The first option, which is to that uh, man who leads the other two, the big fullback, Kenny King, is the most crucial to stop defensively. 
And on that particular play, it looked like uh, there was no option call. They just handed it to Kenny King and said, go get him. And he just drove it on down there. You saw the 7.9 yard average flashing. That's the best of the Oklahoma backs. First down for Sims at the 40 of the Huskers. So with 4.25 left in the first quarter, trailing 7-0, Oklahoma generates an offense. The first game at Lincoln, talking to Galen Rob and Galen Hall, he said that he felt that they ran too much to the foot end side. They were going to go back and try and take advantage of the strength of their tight end. Kimball split to the right. Andy Means will play him one-on-one -on -one throughout the game. Again, give it to the fullback. And King, the senior from Clarendon, Texas, who has the longest run by a Sooner this year, 74 yards against Colorado, picks up about three. The old Boomer Sooner, and they brought the Boomer with them. On that, on that particular play, they have the split end over on the same side as the tight end moved up on the line which made, makes their tight end an Ill ineligible receiver but they're trying to check the uh, check the reaction of the Nebraska team Sims hit first by Lee Coons number 38 finished off by Horn and Pensick the two tackles as he gets to the 34 Nebraska and brings up a third down and four Coons is quite an athlete. You see him number 38. From Golden, Colorado, an engineering major. And many feel if he wanted to, he could have been an outstanding decathlon athlete. He won the Big 8 Discus Championship for the throw just under 200 feet this year. Third and five. King in motion. Give it to Sims. First down at the 24. The Sooners are on their feet. by Kenny King to get going with that one and what a tremendous run. Tim Fisher's not the biggest guy in the world. You see right there, they're flying him outside. Tim just breaks the corner, heads downfield, runs right over Tim Fisher, number 16. <laughs> wow, that hurts way up here. And Jeff Hansen finished him off. First down, Oklahoma at the 24. Break, Forrest Valora, 82, tight end inside on the left side. A sophomore from Big Sandy, Texas. Well, his helmet went a flying. 5'11 and 192. It's interesting the sizes of the four starting backs. Lot, King, Sims, and Overstreet almost out of the same mold. They're all about 5'11 and all about 200 pounds. And they all seem capable of taking a shot. Watch right here. The helmet just flies off Overstreet's head, but he doesn't stop until he gained about six yards. Second and four. Sims to the 15 yard line close to a first down Kerry Winemaster the middle guard made the stop as we pause briefly for station identification from Miami this is the NBC television network this is KMTV in Omaha the Orange Bowl, Miami, a minute and a half left in the first quarter. 7 0 Nebraska. But Oklahoma on a drive. They're at the 15 of the Huskers, third and one. Go on, come on. Come on, Kenny. Go on, Sims go on. diving for a first down at the 13 yard line. Greg Roberts, the Outland Trophy winner, top lineman in America. And Sam Clapham, the full blooded Cherokee, number 63, the right tackle. Led Sims and Sims leaping over that wall for a first down. That's kind of an interesting play for this Oklahoma team. Uh, they lined up in the wishbone, but they just ran a power play. Both backs diving up in there, and Sims following him in, diving for the first down. Sims with 42 yards in this first quarter. Lots of King. Look at that leg power of King as he's to the seven-yard line. Lawrence Cole, 81 on the tip for Nebraska. And this time it was Louis Oubre, 66, the left tackle, and Paul Tabor, 73, the left guard, opening the hole. I talked to Lance Van Zandt, the defensive coordinator for Nebraska, and he said as much as we appreciate Sims' talent, Kenny King is almost a tougher back for us to handle. High formation. They're giving uh, Nebraska some of their own medicine here. Second and a long three. Sims close to a first down at the four-yard line. Jeff Hansen up from a safety spot to make the hit. Paul Tabor 
We told you about his identical twin brother, Phil, number 74 on defense. Paul Tabor leading the way for Sims. Going to be close, but not close enough for a measurement. Third and call it one. And Nebraska was number two in the nation in scoring. Nebraska, the number one offensive team in yardage. Oklahoma, number two. Play being shuttled in by number 11, Freddie Nixon. Play called up here from the box by Galen Hall, the offensive coordinator. Sims, it appeared Nebraska was offside. Someone on the defensive left side of the red-shirted line seemed to pop offside. chance to see it. Watch the far side over there. You see the Nebraska defensive left end starting across just too quickly and Jody Farthing, number 53, did what a smart center always does. Snaps the ball. Caught him. So the position of Farthing is he snapped the ball almost as if he's being shot ahead. Just level to the ground to throw his block. His story is a good one. Uh, he was a fifth quarter senior and was not going to play until uh, Paul Faber broke his hand had to come back and uh, finish the season. Actually came back and did a great job. A lot of them put Tabor at guard. First and goal. Billy Sims. Touchdown. The 21st time this year that Sims has scored. Bobby Kimball, 21, the split end through a key block. He would like to finish it off here tonight with a big performance against the arch rivals Nebraska and here in the Orange Bowl where Oklahoma had such trouble last year against Arkansas. So two long drives, 13 plays for Oklahoma. The kick is good. And we have a tie game. As you see, Sim score. Von Shaman has kicked the extra point and with seven seconds left in the first quarter. Oh, that's a rash of sevens up there. Nebraska has seven. The Sooners has, have seven, and so does the official timekeeper. Back quickly to look at Sims as he trotted into that end zone. What a great play. Watch it now as they option off. First, first option there to King. Flips it out to Sims, who just uses his great speed and a little bit of a move there at the end. Goes past the fine block on the outside by Kimball and waltzes into the end zone. Now Oklahoma will kick it off to Nebraska. 7-7 as we come to the close of this first quarter. 69 yards for the Sooners. Nebraska used 14 plays and driving 80 yards for their touchdown. Watching Von Schaman warm up. Terribly impressed with the strength of his leg, Dick. He was kicking those field goals from beyond 50 yards and his kickoff the first one sailed five yards into the end zone let's you'll see know, what he does with this one and you'll notice he's kicking off from about the 39 and a half that's because otherwise he'd be offside when he kicks it very deep lock it will kneel and take the touch back at the 20 so with seven seconds left no time expiring on the kick it's nebraska from the husker 20 yard line well the sooners have answered the opening seven points to the Cornhuskers. Now let's see what Nebraska's offensive team can do. Interesting on that drive, uh, they they spent quite a bit of time out of the wishbone, throwing some wrinkles tonight at uh, Nebraska. Some eye formation, uh, some motion. Uh, Galen Hall and uh, Barry Switzer have decided they're not just going to get out there and run out of that wishbone tonight. Lock at number 80 to the right. Junior Miller, the tight end on the right side, and Jeff Flynn, another tight end, anchors the line on the left side. hip to the 24 as the first quarter comes to an end here in Miami Florida 45th Orange Bowl Classic is tied at seven we'll have a second quarter of action after these messages from your local station the Miami's Orange Bowl Chuck LeBeau the pilot now come on shooting those great pictures from overhead we open the second quarter. Dick Enberg with Merlin Olson, wishing you a happy new year, 1979, from the Orange Bowl, a 7-7 tie. Second and six, Nebraska. Hip. Diving to the 26, maybe the 27. Barry Dittman, 38, catching him in midair. One of the most difficult things to do against this Oklahoma defense is to get outside. They have such great team speed and such great pursuit that you just 
have a hard time outrunning them. You get out to that corner and there are three or four of them out there waiting for you. We should comment while it appeared in taking the long shot of the blimp that it was raining very hard. It is not. It's a light rain falling. Blitz is on. It goes past Charlie has a man open. And it's caught by an Oklahoma who's very Switzer. Switzer makes the reception on the sidelines. He was going to make doggone sure a Nebraska man didn't catch it. Maybe he is 38. You see the way he handled that ball? <laughs> Switzer who graduated from the University of Arkansas. 59. They like to work the Junior Miller inside, but they also like to work down the sideline. And they just threw that one a little bit wide, a little bit behind the receiver. Otherwise, they might have had something going. Darrell Ray and Freddie Nixon are deep. Smith, a wobbly kick. Ray, fair catch, fumble, and falls on it at the 34. Now Oklahoma has the football early in the second quarter. Less than a minute gone in the second period. The Huskers seven, the Sooners seven. Seven tie early in the second quarter as Tom Osborne talks to that offensive line. Ball at the 34, the Sooners, as Thomas Lott moves under center. Jody Farthing. And through it, he has a man wide open. And out of nowhere, Tim Fisher racing cross field to knock it away from Bobby Kimball. Tim Fisher, one of eight Fishers to play at the University of Nebraska. Watch Lott now. Little fake on the backside on the option. Drops back and very uncharacteristically goes deep. Kimball down there, ball slightly underthrown, and Fisher did a great job of sprinting to that football and knocking it away. Well, I told you, Tim's uncle, Pat Fisher, all pro, Redskins, and others, and Tim's father, Cletus, is the offensive line coach for Nebraska. Nebraska, or Oklahoma's first pass in this game, they only threw two passes in the other game that they played against Nebraska. Not much there for Mr. Billy Sims. Follows Greg Pruitt, Joe Washington, Elvis Peacock, Horace Ivory. Ho, oh, the Oklahoma Sooners have had some great running backs. Golf. And we've just given you a marvelous weekend. I know you enjoyed the basketball action. Notre Dame, Kentucky, and all the football activity. And now the Bob Hort Desert Classic. What a way to begin the golfing year. That's the 13th and 14th, two weeks hence, from the beautiful desert area, Palm Springs, Palm Desert. I believe our good friend John Brody and Arnold Palmer will be co-hosting next Third down, Lott wants to throw. May have fumbled. No, he hangs on to it and fights forward to the 35-yard line. Shows you the leg power of Lott. He took three or four shots from those big defensive linemen, but the Huskers stayed on his feet. Short of the first down, it'll be fourth down and ten. George Andrews in from the back side for the Cornhuskers. Went right over the top of Lott. Lott looked like Tarkington as he ducked underneath and then just tried to mold his way out of there. They finally got him on the ground. Darrell Ray is going to kick it away for the Oklahoma center. Lockett and Brown are deep for Nebraska. High. No fair catch. And the Sooner is surrounded at the 31-yard line of Nebraska. 12 and a half minutes remaining in this first half. Switzer Sooners 7, Osborne Huskers 7. Great shot because at halftime, folks, you're going to see the spectacular of lights disco. Don't go away. Very special show at the intermission. One of the spectaculars of this Orange Bowl. First down, Nebraska, 7-7 seven, seven tie. 12 and a half minutes remaining first half. Ball at the 31. Sorley keeps it himself and gets out near the 40-yard line before Phil Tabor can track him down. Sorley doesn't run all that much, saw the opening and took the yardage. It'll be second down and three. Very strange-looking play. Other scores in the cotton. Houston was ahead 34 to 12, and Dan Devine's Irish came from behind to win in the final seconds, 35-34. Great defensive battle in the Sugar Bowl. Alabama wins it 14-7. And you saw another fine defensive struggle as USC in controversy beat Michigan 17-10. High leg style of Calvin Hill, the great Yale University star, still playing well in the NFL. He certainly does. And boy, he knows how to go after that extra piece of yardage. Hits that hole so quickly. He's about a 4'6, 4'5 back himself. Looks like he's got some 
Filipino or Indian blood? What does he have? Uh, Mother uh, Filipino. And uh, Rick, of course, uh, playing uh, with a heavy heart all season long. His mother passed away just at the start of the season. First down, Nebraska. On a little counter, Andre Franklin from Aniston, Alabama. 4-6 speed and a whale of a blocker picks up three. We saw the scores of other games, Merlin. I think it's more than appropriate that we comment on who's going to be number one. Alabama beats Penn State, so Penn State no longer undefeated. But USC winning again today beat Alabama at Alabama earlier this year and Oklahoma only three yards away from an unbeaten year well I think we have to give Oklahoma a chance to see what they do in this one and then maybe we can talk seriously about it toward the end of the game Brown left lock it right sorely a pump and he has a man open but overshoots him along the sidelines it was Lockett Daryl Hunt applying pressure on sorely Hunt coming in on a blitz number 85 watch him Steps up, drives right up the middle here. Thought the first pump was going to be it and continued on in to take Sorley to the ground. Certainly the pressure making him throw the ball a little too deep. The receiver had no chance at it. Two-time All-American, Darrell Hunt. Now third down seven. Sorley is three out of seven now, 54 yards. Rolling. Trying to hit and does hit. Tim Smith, the touchdown maker of the Huskers, gets Nebraska to the Oklahoma 33. Sorley doing a great job of staying on his receiver and then throwing the ball in a place where it couldn't be intercepted, but where Tim, Tim Smith could reach back, corral that football, pick up a very big first down. Smith was the number three receiver for the Cornhuskers with 19 on the season. Two big ones in this one tonight. Charlie still on his feet. That's up for grabs. Batted away by Daryl Ray, number three. A fine play by Ray. Basil Banks didn't know where the ball was. And I think they've called a penalty on number 58, Reggie Mathis, as he continued in on Sorley after that ball was thrown. You see some very concerned Oklahoma Sooners there. Yes, indeed, they call roughing the passer. Personal foul, 15 yards. That'll march that ball all the way down to about the 17-yard line. Yeah, that brings a roar from the Nebraska fans across the way. Sometimes it appears those officials walk forever, doesn't it? Those, those 15 yarders uh, really do hurt you. Here's what the penalty was for. If you watch Reggie Mathis uh, go in right at the end of the play, sorely running away now. Ball clearly gone. <laughs> Just to the right side of your picture. <laughs> we could see it up here. I'm sorry we couldn't show it to you at home. The 17-yard line, a reverse. Lockett gets a block, but a flag is down. And Lockett knocked out of bounds at around the 11-yard line, but they're going to call a clip against Nebraska as one of the lead blockers peeling back to help out Lockett did not get his head in front of the Oklahoma defender. Now well, there it is right there, and the two penalties big difference, however, is that that particular penalty, as you watch the play develop here, watch Lockett streaking to the outside, just on the left side of your picture, 58, right there, the man who had committed the foul earlier, he was the man clipped on that play, the ball will be marched back now, and it's going to be first and about 25 yards to go. Exactly at the point where Matt has picked up the roughing call at the 33 of Oklahoma, 10 minutes and 46 seconds left in this first half. I wonder if Mathis feels any better about that now. I'm sure he didn't enjoy being clipped, but at least the ball moves back. There's a man who's not very happy about it. Osborne very upset. He doesn't get animated very easily. He must have something going down there. Actually, the penalty marked off from the spot of the foul, which was behind the line of scrimmage. So it's a 23-yard penalty. First down, 33 to go for Nebraska. Even more costly. it off to Andre Franklin and the big pullback gets to the 36 
six-yard line, a gain of four. Trying to sneak Franklin through the line on a, an obvious passing situation. The Oklahoma defense just wouldn't bite, shut him down quickly. One of the differences between these two teams is that uh, Nebraska does have a relatively sound passing attack. Oklahoma throws the ball very little and has not had great, sec great success throwing the football. Second and long for Nebraska. 36 of Oklahoma. Sorley, great protection, dumps it off to Franklin. And he's out at the 28 of Oklahoma. Hit down by Daryl Hunt, number 85, making tackle after tackle. Hunt again on the tackle. Cumbie over there, too. The two linebackers uh, showing you some great speed as they caught up with Franklin. Smart play, though. They uh, stretched everybody out, making it look like they were going to go deep. And then through underneath uh, to the back, uh, Andre Franklin coming out. By the way, uh, Tom Sorley is 5 for 10 now and 83 yards passing here in the first half. Third and 20. Incomplete intended for Rick Burns along the sidelines. And for a long field goal try, in comes Billy Todd, the senior from Chandler, Arizona. His longest of this year is 48 yards, longest ever 55. This one will be spotted from around the 33, a 43-yard attempt. That's going to be longer than that. 44-yard attempt by the left footer, Billy Todd. Up and over. Just missed to the right. Well, it remains deadlocked here in Miami. Orange Bowl 79 with nine minutes left in the half. Tied at seven. Sunday, January 14th, 3 o'clock Eastern Time here on NBC as we start a whole new year and some exciting sports events for you as we get ourselves ready for 1980 and the Olympics in Moscow. Kenny King. And it takes more than half of the Nebraska team to bring him down. He fumbled. Was it after the whistle? It was at the 34-yard line. Thus far, no fumbles in the game. Nine times Oklahoma fumbled in the first Nebraska contest. If you want to know how hard it is to get Billy Sims to the ground, watch 29. Jim Pillen, the monster man, gets a hold of him here, tries to get him down, keeps him hanging there. Now they're going after the football. That's Kenny King, the big fullback, even tougher to get down than Sims. There's Sims, and he's across the 40 for a first down. In Miami, the Oklahoma and the Nebraska teams visited the nuclear destroyer, and they were all startled when the captain announced, Welcome to the USS Sims. It's S E M M E S, but the Nebraska team wanted to leave right then. <laughs> they even named a nuclear destroyer after him, and he's only a junior. King in motion, and Sims on the toss. Good read by Nebraska. George Andrews, the All American defensive end, number 96, played it beautifully. Talking to the Oklahoma coaches, they're very impressed with the strength of George Andrews and his playing ability. The defensive captain for the Cornhuskers just had a great year, got out there very quickly and made a great open field tackle. If you can't tackle in the open field, you don't have a chance against Oklahoma. Well, that's for certain. Second and a long nine. Kenny King trying the left side of the line. Gets short yardage to the 44, and that'll be third down and six. For most teams, the third and six is a passing situation. But the Sooners are so confident in their offensive setup that that's still a running situation for them very often. They're not afraid to go with their wishbone or go with one of their running plays in this kind of a situation. You saw Oklahoma six and three. Nebraska is four and two in the Orange Bowl. Break the wishbone and send over Street wide right on third and six. Sims, look at him fly all the way to the 41 of Nebraska. A great block by 65. Greg Roberts to clear the way. Now you've got the 
Heisman Trophy winner running behind the block of Greg Roberts, 65. Look at it right there. Great job. Now watch him to the open field. That's Millen, the monster man, finally gets it by the shoestring, but not until he's gained that first down. What a great run. Another quick look at it right there. Ooh, look at that block on Tim Fisher. Oh, that hurts up here. That is a definite mismatch. King, now it's Lott, wants to throw. ends up being all alone. You see how much room he has there. Catches the football. And that's Jeff Hansen doing a good job of reacting, but that was actually Andy Meese's man, and he got away from it. Steve Rose from Dallas, Texas. Shoulder injury against the Longhorns in the Texas game, and he was out until the Sooners played at Nebraska. Puts Oklahoma in front for the first time, 13 to 7. What an explosive team these Oklahoma Sooners are. You watch Lott, he had the choice of the option if he wanted it, but just like the running back he is, he said, hey, I can take this on in myself, and I don't have to worry about throwing the ball at all. He knows the way. That's the 10th touchdown of the year for Lott. Von Schaumann's extra point try. Good. 14 to 7, Oklahoma leads. Some people say that Lott is not a good passer. The Oklahoma coaches say, hey, Lott will surprise you with his passing ability. He can throw that pill. Watch him here. Not a perfect pass. Not a perfect spiral. But Mike Elliott's on target, and it's close to a touchdown. Lott was able to go down, and in one play, did the rest of it. Now you golfers won't miss that. Two weeks from now, Bob Hope Desert Classic here on NBC. Now Thomas Lott caps a 73-yard touchdown drive, seven plays for the Sooners to take the lead, 14 to seven. Three-yard sweep by Lott. Deep to return, Rick Burns, Frank Lockett as Von Schaumann kicks it off. Very high and very short. Junior Miller is going to take it at the 25. Big tight end at the 30. He's still on his feet. Just as he was breaking into the open, he's hit down at the 36-yard line. Well, you just saw a 28-yard pass from Lott to Steve Rhodes. Here's the longest pass in Orange Bowl history as we go back to 1951. Miami against Clemson in the 51 Classic. Bob Schneidenbach of the Hurricanes to Ed Lutz. And Miami goes 72 yards on the longest pass play in this classic's history. We'll be visiting some other moments, some nostalgia from the Orange Bowl. Burn a little flea flicker to Sorley, but no one open. Sorley hunting, hunting, finally throws to Lockett. Now there is an ad-lib pass pattern if I've ever seen one. that Sorley wanted to throw to didn't get open. Watch it here now. Burns just hands it back. Didn't even trust himself to toss it. Now watch it get away from Saber right there. Has about an hour to throw it. Finally hung on top of him. And Lockett did a great job of slipping back inside to catch that football. Just out of sight of your picture there, McCloskey was having a little to do with Darrell Ray. And you can see he wanted more. Someone tripped him up. It appeared to be George Cumley, number 28. Linebacker. Let's go back to that kick. It looked like uh, an accidental kick. It was kicked so high. But that's something that Bob Schaumann practices with the special teams. They try and kick it to the side of the field against the wind to force a fair catch. Unfortunately, Junior Miller would have no part of that fair catch business. He looked like a big Billy Sims coming out of there. A lot of people forget you can fair catch a kickoff if you want. Burns again. Oh, a 
throws he a rugged back. He has, a, I believe, close to a first down. He's at the 31. Might have to measure on this one. Jeff Hansen and making the tackle, you recall on the play where Rhodes nearly scored on the pass play, Hansen made the tackle. He suffered an eye injury, and it's requiring stitches. We do not know if he'll return for Nebraska. Now, this is the kind of pattern that Nebraska established in the game that they won at Lincoln. Going right up the center, attacking the middle of that Oklahoma defense. They were able to do it on the first drive. They're coming back here. There's Jeff Hansen, senior from Sacramento, California. He was the man who made the tackle of Billy Sims that forced the fumble at the three-yard line when it appeared Oklahoma would go in to score and might beat Nebraska back in November. Well, we haven't seen Oklahoma fumble tonight, Dick. And it's a first down Nebraska at the 31 of the Sooners. Burns again, and this time no hole. Gains only a yard. George Cumby plugging the hole, the linebacker. You don't uh, usually see a linebacker wearing that 28. That's where he plays on the strong side. Six feet tall and 205 from Gorman, Texas. He was the Big 8 defensive player of the year last year as a sophomore. Well, I talked to him earlier in the locker room. Uh, certainly has the statistics and the ability to be a free safety or a strong safety, preferably strong safety in the NFL if he wants to play some pro ball before too long. He played fullback as a freshman, scored a touchdown in the Fiesta Bowl. Sorley with a toss to Burns, and what a play by the cornerback. Basil Banks, number 17, came up to submarine the blocker and Burns. Just a great play. And playing out there on the outside, Cornerback, even in college, is a tough job. You're playing against some quick receivers, and you also have to be willing to come up and sacrifice your body. Basil Banks did just that, threw himself right into the middle of it, took down the interference and the back. Big play. 14 to 7, Oklahoma, and Sorley faces a long nine on third down. Good protection. Out of the backfield, Franklin. Stopped far short of the first down. They gained only a couple of yards on that play as Cumbie and Hunt, the two outside linebackers, teamed up on the tackle at the 28. Make it the 29. Usually, what is Osborne going to do here? Well, I don't know. Usually you get a pass into that territory and you can be assured some yardage, but the reactions of Cumbie and Hunt were just so quick that there was just nothing there. Sorley holding for Billy Todd. 36-yard attempt, no good, wide to the left this time, so Todd has missed right and now has missed to the left. From the Orange Bowl in Miami, a timeout, 2.53 remaining before the half, Sooners 14 and the 2.53 left in the half, Oklahoma leading 14-7 and the Sooners have the ball, they're going back to the air and Lott his way to the 36-yard line. A gain of five. Louis Oubre, 66, the left tap, tackle, helping Lott with a fine block. George Andrews made the stop for Nebraska. The United States Olympic Committee will receive the net proceeds from an additional commercial scheduled in this program under an agreement made with NBC for the broadcast of the United States Olympic Trials. NBC acknowledges the cooperation of the Orange Bowl Committee in helping to broadcast that commercial announcement. Second down, five, Oklahoma. And Lott again wants to throw. And holding on Pillen, Jim Pillen saw Nixon getting away and grabbed him downfield. Interference against Pillen. Very uncharacteristic uh, for Oklahoma, Dick. They're throwing the ball around here uh, like they were a passing team. As we said earlier, they only threw two passes in that 17-14 game in Lincoln. They have thrown quite a few here and thrown successfully. Jim Pillen, of course, uh, saw that he might be in trouble if that ball was complete over his head. Said, hey, I'd rather have the penalty than the reception. Just grabbed him and hooked him. Pillen, a very bright lad, a A student in free veterinary medicine. Academic All-American, and he used his head there. That was six points if he didn't hold it. First down at the 46 of Nebraska. And Billy Sims has the ball. And Nebraska.
Nebraska shows that good lateral pursuit. Russell Gary, number nine, a sophomore from Minneapolis, Minnesota, came up from a safety spot. He's subbing for the injured Jeff Hansen to lead the charge of the defensive team of Nebraska, and they proudly call themselves the Black Shirts. That's what they wear in practice. They do wear those black shirts, and boy, they were hustling out to the outside. The mark of good defense. Good pursuit, good hustle. There were six of them in on that tackle. Second and 11. Lot eludes that first man, and they forced him inside for short yardage to the Nebraska 43. George Andrews made the tackle. Jody Farthing, 53, with a key block, and Barry Switzer checks the clock. 118 now, left in the first half. Clock is ready. 14 to 7, Oklahoma leads. loosens its deep secondary on third and seven. Lot. Great running in the open field. And he's close to a first down at the 36-yard line. 46 seconds, and the clock is running. And now time called by the official with 42 seconds. And down on the field, we were staying with the action in the middle of the offensive line, number 65, Greg Roberts. Tries to pick up Winemaster, carry Winemaster 51, only gets a piece of him, although he's doing the best he can to drive it by. Lot steps up beyond the pressure and then becomes a running back. Does a good job of getting a little extra yardage here. That's Dunning, 40, finally coming over to the backside, puts him on the ground. About a half a yard short. Interesting decision here for Barry Switzer, Dick. At halftime. We invite you to stay with us here at the Orange Bowl, and we're excited about the brilliant show that they have worked so hard to present to you and all the fans here at the Classic. It's a spectacle of lights, and even the fans will be participating. Vicki Ray Anderson has come into the Oklahoma backfield, and uh, some of the fun of that halftime show, and Teddy Nathanson, Special producer just for the halftime festivities. And we'll be looking from uh, way up the, the camera high in the sky. That should be an interesting perspective of that super halftime. I saw it last year. I was here for the game, and it was brilliant. Uh, if it's better than that, uh, boy, I want to see it. Fourth and one. And Lott doesn't make it. Number 81, Lawrence Cole, was in there, and he had plenty of early help. 96, George Andrews blitzing in. Superb defensive play. Watch him here as they just hamstring. It's going to be an option. Lawrence Cole right underneath there, and from the backside, number 96, Andrews puts him on the ground. So Nebraska, with 37 seconds left, has time to possibly move down into field goal range. Ball at the 37. Sorley has luck at the speedster wide to the bottom of your picture. He's throwing for Lockett, who was pushed out of bounds on a legal chuck and could not get back inbounds. Wouldn't have counted had he. Well, there is no five-yard rule in uh, college ball. As long as the man is in front of you and in position to block you, you, you can go ahead and give him a chuck. Can't hang on to him. And once he goes by you, you've got to be careful. It's like the old pro rule, but uh, on that particular play, he was out of bounds. He had, he had no chance. 33 seconds left for Nebraska, second and 10. The Cornhuskers trail Oklahoma 14 to 7. It's been a good first half. Sorley throws it out of the field of play, intended for Tim Smith, number 84. Where was his pass? Where was Barry Switzer on that one? He, uh, he caught the last one that was thrown over to the sideline that way. So it's third and 10 for Nebraska. I'm going to guess they go to Junior Miller this time, the tight end, number 89. Well, Tom Osborne over there sends the play in with Lockett. Osborne, one of the few head coaches of the major college teams that still does a great deal of the offensive coaching himself. Miller, the tight end, is to the right. They're going to run. Rick Burns. Flying down the sidelines to a first down at the 43-yard line. Timeout as they move the yard six. You'll recall Nebraska used two timeouts back in the first quarter, so they have only one left. And they only have 21 seconds left. 
That was a fine play. Good execution. Caught the Oklahoma defense by surprise. You see it right there. Burns showing his great speed down the sideline. Clock running, 17, 16, 15 seconds, 14, 31. Maurice McCloney, a speedy freshman, is in there. Charlie can't find an open man. Bill Tabor, 74, made the defensive play for Oklahoma. Almost shuts the door on an opportunity to get some points unless they can hang something up deep or possibly get a penalty and then go for a field goal with only one timeout and only seven seconds. I'm afraid there's not much hope of getting any more points in this quarter. So the handsome twin, Phil Tabor, last time out spent by Nebraska, could be the last play of this first half. Miller, 89 on the bottom of the screen, the tight end left, and wide right is Lockett. Look how deep they've played their secondary and their linebackers. Three men up. Charlie going for it all. Number 14, Mike Babb to the 20, the 30, and finally out of bounds at the 40-yard line. The end of an exciting first half in the Orange Bowl. Now there's a penalty. If it's against Oklahoma, see what the officials will do here. Flipping against Oklahoma, so that is the last yep. play of the first half. Oh, the intermission and a great show coming up for you. First 30 minutes reach out. Oklahoma 14, Nebraska 7. Oklahoma, uh, maybe that's uh, one of the most exciting things for, for Coach Switzer, is the fact that that young man as a junior has got another year to play. And if he gets much better, uh, it's going to be hard to keep him away from that Heisman Trophy for a second time. Nebraska kicks it off. Todd's boot. Taken by Jimmy Rogers, number 34 at the 20, and he's out to the 30-yard line. Rogers from Forest City, Arkansas. And Oklahoma... ...spone on the first play of the second half. Whoops. Picks offside. Cost the Sooners five, although a fumble and it came for Victor Hicks, tight end, got a little extra jump, five yard penalty. Did you see the two men that came into the Oklahoma huddle together? 24 Steve Rhodes and six Thomas Lott. They hooked up on a key pass play that set up an Oklahoma touchdown. 14 to seven Sooners. Kenny King, not much off. Frank Wright. First option, you've got to control the nose man. Watch Jody Farthing there. Get Winemaster hooked, keep him away. King blows through the hole, is into the secondary before he has even has a chance. 63 Claffin down there to throw a block in front of him. That's fine play. Now Lott goes to the air. Has <laughs> and the short slant, Lott able to hit on it there. Means is on Rhodes now, is to the right. And here comes Thomas Lott with running room. Lot all the way to the 11-yard line. Big game. Lot reverse spins out of there. Gets a block right there from Overstreet. You get a good look on the inside as he just turns on that great speed. Breaks away a couple of good blocks. Watch down in the right-hand corner of your screen there. A couple of other suitors down there making room for him. Big offensive play. First down at the 12-yard line. Billy Sims outside. And into the end zone. explosive offense from the Oklahoma Sooners. They did not waste any time at all. Two big, big plays. Watch Sims here. Takes it and just uses his speed. Gets around the corner. Russell Gary, number nine, came over but couldn't make contact until Sims was into the end zone. And that's a happy young man. 70 yards, six plays. Uba Von Schaman. He hooked it in there. It hooked through good. So time out of 70 yards in a minute and a half took only six plays the capper 11 yards by billy sims and a timeout in the orange bowl oklahoma and four 
that's a fair catch. He was just over talking to Bobby Proctor on the sideline. Let's see if he does, in fact, go to that or if he kicks it away. Wind blowing quite hard. What's surprising to see him do it here? Yep, high and short. Taken at the 25. To the 30 goes Craig Johnson. Breaks it upfield to the 36-yard line. Craig Johnson with a return. Well, you saw a 38-yard run by Lott. Here's the longest run in Orange Bowl history. Larry Smith of Florida came in the 67 game. Smith from his own four-yard line. Pick of the six goes 94 yards for a touchdown. Florida against Georgia Tech. Larry Smith, your old teammate for the Rams. Great running back for Los Angeles. Went to, went to the round of the league, but he was a fine one. Let's go. Nebraska's trailing by two touchdowns. The pitch to Rick Burns. And Burns all the way. You've got to put that in writing. I don't believe <laughs> yeah, you. That's, I got that from a Nebraska fan. The bug eaters. Rick Burns, a yardage consumer. The fumble after the whistle. Third son. Charlie from his own 47. Overshoots it, intercepted by Darrell Ray. Ray at the 50. Darrell Ray to the 40. And finally knocked out of bounds. Oklahoma. Darrell Ray, the junior from Colleen, Texas, a converted high school quarterback, picks off that overthrown pass and returns it all the way to the Nebraska 27. Well, if you're going to miss the pass, far better to throw it short than to throw it long. And Darrell Ray shows you why right here. Not only intercepted it, but did a great job eating up the sideline all the way back to the 27-yard line. First and 10 for the Oklahoma Sooners. And Nebraska did not want to turn the ball over, but they did want rain. They thought that would hurt Oklahoma. Let's see. King. King in motion. Lot stumbling back to the line of scrimmage. Third and eight play. King breaks a tackle. 20, 15, drag down, first down at the 12-yard line. Looked like a little bit of a mix-up in the backfield, but Kenny King took advantage of it. He comes in right here, bumps into Lot. Now watch what happens. King breaks it back against the grain, and then he points to one of his blockers here. He said, you get that guy, and I'll go further. You see him right there. Straight arming Andy Means. Andy able to knock him down, but he picked up a couple extra yards in the process. 21-7 Oklahoma. Ooh. Billy Sims into and moving right down again. Green's not as hard now. Lott keeps it. Still on his feet. And they finally pin him at a and six from the seven-yard line. You see the third down conversions there. Oklahoma hitting 50% on the day. Let's see how they do on this one. If they can get this one, they will be between the goal line and the one-and-a-half, two-yard line. From the eye, Sims running through tacklers to the four. Linemen because they usually don't get the publicity that are that is spread around among defensive linemen. Of course, the defensive linemen don't get enough either. I can tell you that right now. Too much time taken by Oklahoma. So the five. Notice they've overshifted a man now. Now they haven't. Maybe they're balanced. Right down the middle. 26 yards by Von Shaman. Now Darrell Ray's interception develops into three more Sooner points and with nine minutes left in the third quarter, Oklahoma 24, Nebraska 7. Kick and they get it. Again, it's Johnson at the 26. They run it back to the left again. And he gallops out to the 42 and they're getting very... The Pittsburgh Steelers, the winners to meet in the, in the Super Bowl on the 21st of January. Little flanker screen to Kenny Brown, gets a block. And squirts out to the 40. Good, good. Oh, my, my mom cooked it all. Fake and a throw complete at the 35. Franklin and Hip behind Sorley. I am Hip. Quickly by the defensive team. Hip trying right tackle. Only gains a the weights that some of these smaller guys can lift, and it's astounding. Third and five. 
kept being one of those devotees. Oh, he's from Miami. Fourth and five, Nebraska goes for it at the Sooner 30. Shorley. Complete. Kenny Brown. Tradition of great quarterbacking in Nebraska. He says it himself. He said, I'm not the greatest passer in the world, nor the greatest runner, but I can get the job done for you. He does it right there. Fine pass right on the money to Tim Brown. Oh, Brown. Teaming up with Sorley for a first down at the Oklahoma 17. Miller shifts right, Brown in tight left. A toss to the hip. 15. Ooh. And this OK left the field under his own power. Don't forget on Super Sunday, on Saturday night, the eve before the Super Bowl game, a special Super Bowl Saturday night from 9 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Some of your old buddies will be featured. And Terry Bradshaw going to be singing. His wife, Jojo Starbuck, is going to be doing some skating for us. And Fred Dreyer, the Rams, will do a little disco dancing along with some other athletes. I wonder if Fred Nebraska Cornhuskers can do with that Oklahoma defense. Another critical call. Sorley takes it inside to Coterra. With fourth and two from the Oklahoma nine for Nebraska. And Sorley's going to use a second timeout. Well, that's frustrating. And Tom Osborne, a rare show of emotion. They didn't have enough players on the field. Number 80, Frank Lockett, comes in to make it an 11-man squad. Oklahoma's tough enough to beat with 11. And there goes the five-yard penalty. What in the world is... I uh, guess they didn't take the time out. Well, they didn't want to waste the time. away. Now, Osborne is saying, hey, we took the time out. How can you give us five? But apparently, the referee did not acknowledge the timeout. Ken Faulkner, man in charge. Osborne a little upset, but uh, perhaps a little stoic about it. He said, hell, that's it. Uh, now we'll just send in Todd, send in the field goal team, and try and salvage the three points. But he did not want the three. He wanted the seven. He wanted to go for it. This will be a 31-yard attempt, apparently. Todd has missed from 44 and 46 yards. Sorley to hold. Bad snap. Good spot by Sorley. And the kick is good. Now we just heard a ruling. It's not uh, permissible to call two consecutive timeouts on the same play. Therefore, the delay of penalty, or the delay penalty, was assessed against the Nebraska team. That means, though, that they have not given up that other timeout. So at 4.24 left in the third quarter, Nebraska gets three, but the Oklahoma Sooners lead by a pair of touchdowns. It's next Saturday, basketball NBC. Number 34, Jimmy Rock. Number 81. Mr. Cornhusker, we understand Ken Fouts, our director, who is also a Nebraska man. He confirms what you said. When he was going to school, they were the bug eaters <laughs> at Nebraska. Well, you see, I wasn't pulling your leg at all. I, I was trying to be fair. While we're talking about Ken Fouts, uh, pass along just uh, our thanks for what a great job they're doing down in the truck of bringing those great pictures to it. It makes our job so pleasant when they are so much a part of the action. Uh, Mike Weissman down there, our producer. And, great to be a part of a team that can give us the kind of performance that we've had during the year Dick it's been a real pleasure for us I know you especially can appreciate that team concept and since this will be it for the four of us for the football year it's been a great season we thank the guys that uh, work so closely with us and we with them that was a personal foul on Nebraska for a late hit so Oklahoma has it first down at the 40 yard line leading 24 to 10 and here comes Billy Sims, 50, 40. Jim Pillen gets him out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Gets off the ball. Looks like everyone else is slow. Barry's horn, the tackle. Sims pops through into the opening right there on his own down the sideline. Great blocking, great carry. Now Billy Sims joins the 100-yard club in this Orange Bowl Classic. Oh, and he... <laughs> He wasn't going to acknowledge that sideline white stripe. 117 yards for Sims, who carried for over 1,700 yards this season. 20 touchdowns. He averaged, averaged 160 yards a game. 
how many 200-yard games did he have? Three in a row. That oh. uh, was a new Big Eight record. Boy, I'll tell you. Now he showed us why here today, and and the explosive offense of this Oklahoma Center team exploding again down to the 32-yard line. Let's see what they can do with it now. Jeff Hanson, 48 back in the game for Nebraska. Kenny King, no, Thomas Locke keeps the ball. And down, he picked up four big yards, second and six. Billy Sims trying to get outside, loves to run to his right behind. From the same team before this year, before Sims I and... Uh, I know the answer to that one. All right. Nebraska. You I don't know it. the year, but it was Johnny Rogers and uh, Rich Glover. Rich Glover, 1972. Absolutely right. So these two teams represent the only times that Heisman and Island have gone to two members of the same team. Meanwhile, the Nebraska Black Shirts trying to close the door in Oklahoma. All right. I admire, I admire the kind of work they do. Lock with a quick toss to Overstreet. And he's all the way to third all-time in Texas history. Billy Sims was second. Overstreet. All the way. Horse Valor has gone in with Victor Hicks. Lock. All the way to the two. Wow. Not so imbalanced at the end of the first half, but it has sure gone Oklahoma's way here in the second half of this game. Kimball is wide right. Woo! Big play. That was a 2.5 difficulty. That was tight position, wasn't it? Jackknifed, I think, uh, about six feet up. Watch it for yourselves. Ground level. Gives the ball back to Overstreet Sims. And Overstreet right in front of him. Sims up, does the jackknife right there, and they just bury him. Point his head toward the ground and say, not this time. But he even looked good coming straight down, yes, didn't he? he? Did. Yes, and graceful. Third and goal at the two. Nebraska digs in. Lot to King. No, he keeps it and scores it. scoreboard and the way this game has suddenly become one-sided they certainly have a case for that Dick lot there was second to Sims with nine touchdowns Billy Sims had 20 they've each scored a pair tonight and suddenly Oklahoma 30 Nebraska 10 let's get Mark Lucky number 52 the center of Bob here all he does for this team is snap but he puts it right on the money gives that three-man team a chance to do the job properly so a four-minute drive, 60 yards, and 10 plays. Nothing cheap about any of the Oklahoma touchdowns. They've all been from 60 yards or more. And engineered by this man, senior Thomas Luck. Now we've talked about the Super Bowl, the playoffs, basketball. We've got more for you. How about the U.S. Olympic Invitational Track and Field Meet? That's coming up on Super Bowl Eve, 11.30 Eastern Time. One of the featured performers will be a high kick again, a little deeper this time. Taken by Kenny Brown. For 23 with an assist to Willie Wright. Well, there they are. Roberts, Overstreet, Jody Farthing, 20 Sims. They have really had a second half here in the Orange Bowl. He was at the game in a defensive left hand position. 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Burns with a flag. Fourth and fifth uh, team players in there, and this is a team almost big enough to have four or five teams. The tendency is to allow a few points on the board, but the characteristic uh, strength of this team is that great running attack and a great explosiveness. Nebraska hurt by penalties in the first half, and nearly a minus 100 yards for them. You saw. That's Burns in motion. Flags down. Sorley, oh. almost intercepted by James Jimerson. Oklahoma, King votes for number one, leading 31 to 10. Seen in their entirety, 30 minutes after the conclusion of our football coverage over most of these stations, except for the Mountain and Pacific stations, and that uh, will be regular time for you. Of course, uh, quick passes early in the game. 
What a great looking athlete he is. Watch him here. The ball sails over the top of the defender. He's up. Got a hold of it. <laughs> he wanted to get a few extra yards on top of that. Third and three. Both Burns and Hip behind Sorley. I am Hip squirting forward. Oklahoma's rushing yardage. They had 128 yards in the first half, 149 in the third quarter. And if you look at the total stats, 324 for Oklahoma, 273 for Nebraska. Time of possession. Well, that's a shocker right there. Nebraska actually had the ball longer than Oklahoma. But it's Oklahoma 31, Nebraska 10 as Hip takes the pitch. And lead. left in the game. Oklahoma looking pass. An audible by Sorley. And he is going to throw. At Oklahoma, Nebraska, all in the top six. Burns leaping through a hole. Boy, he's got a lot of fight in him. If, if it's done on the basis of performance today, Oklahoma certainly should have a good shot at it. Sorley oh, keeping Sorley. the ball and has some calls from the Longhorn fans. They too. You guys, those ask professor questions. Oh, you got to wow. have all the answers now. Come on. Oh, did, did, they, they, did, they, uh, did they tell us who they were? Well, I think they did. Here comes Rick Burns. Good block. And Burns. Uh, borrowed their fine young talent. They've been a great help to us. I am hip. Tim Smith split wide left. Brown in the slot. And hip up the middle. No. A reverse to Brown. And he's all away. Rick Burns, the eye back. Mad dog defense in for the Sooners. It's Burns. Ooh. The quick lateral movement and the acceleration as he spots Bird coming in and takes him one-on-one -on -one at the line of scrimmage and drives him back into the stack. That's great defensive play. Top tackler for the Sooners had 145, 85 of them solo hits this year. Third and a long one. It's Burns again, and he drags 62. Texas is senior. You can bet some of the professional scouts have their eyes on that young man. And he has the first and goal for the Cornhuskers outside the one of Oklahoma. That little blue foot on the back of Lockett's helmet. It's a follow me to Miami sticker. Yeah, really we're caught up the spirit. Yes, we're certainly hoping that all our fans across the country are going to follow us all the way to the Super Bowl there in Miami on the 21st of January. Burns earned it and Touchdown. gets it. Rick Burns, his 99th yard rushing is a touchdown. Ground level. Watch out, Burns might jump right into your living room here as he goes up over the top and into the end zone. Great leaping dive. Six points, let's see if they can add the seven. That was a most impressive drive by Nebraska. 72 yards in 14 plays, but all the time consuming that clock, nearly six minutes. Booted through by Todd. And a whistle sound. Flag on the play. Illegal procedure against Oklahoma. So the kick is good. And we have a timeout. Nine minutes, 12 seconds left in the game. Nebraska pulls closer. They need the ball. Oklahoma leads 31-17 points. Penalty against Oklahoma. From the 45-yard line, Todd will kick it off, and you have to guess, trailing by two touchdowns, Nebraska at least is going to entertain an onside kick, and Oklahoma's ready for it. One, two, three, five, nine men up on the 32 for the Sooners. Not much to lose. Here they come. They're going to kick it onside right here, lining up for it. All the players coming to this side. Let's see what Todd can do with it. Oklahoma over.
overloads itself. And here it comes. Darrell Ray. So they got that safety man in there with the good hands, and he picks it off. The Orange Bowl record with 205 yards. And the Razorbacks went on to upset Oklahoma. And any hopes? Needs a turnover. Sims. And they're going for the ball, but Sims. Forrest Galore gets to the outside, wraps around, gets a piece of Sims, Sims but Sims is so slippery. He's a tough back. Sooners beat Nebraska 31-24. Dick Everett from Merlin Olsen. We hope you've enjoyed.